What's up YouTube? It's your boy Swag Buzz here back with another video. So today I'm going to talk about Tennessee State. There's a rumor going on that, you know, McClellan reached out to them about joining the Swag. So I'm going to talk about that. But first, if you're new here to the channel, you like Swag content, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I cover Swag content over here, so make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when the next video drop. But yeah, so it's rumored that Commissioner McClellan reached out to Tennessee State to join the Swag. So many people have been wanting this for years, like so many alumni uh, of the other schools, Tennessee State people, they just been wanting to go to a HBCU conference because culturally it's just a better fit. You know, uh, the games would be more packed and things like that. Like culturally, they don't really fit in the OVC. So a lot of the fans and alumni, they want to go to a HBCU conference. Me personally, I would love to have them in the SWAC. I think they just tailor made for the SWAC. And then they're a Tennessee school, so we had a Tennessee market. And then we already had those games like the Southern Heritage Classic. It's already a big game that people love to go to. And then they could just make more classics with the other schools. Like, can you imagine a Tennessee State versus Southern game that would be packed? It's just so much going on in the SWAC that they would just be a perfect fit for the SWAC. But I also read an article where the ad for tennessee state he said something about them moving on from the ovc but they want to go to an fbs conference they want to go to the fbs level and that he hopes other hbcus join the ovc and you know what that told me that told me that he really has no plans on going to an hbcu conference that's what that told me because if you did you wouldn't have said that so that tells me that Tennessee State pretty much have their eyes set on joining a conference that's more like the OVC or probably like the CAA or something like that. One of those conferences that's like a step down from FBS so they can further get closer to being on the FBS level. So I think that's where their sights are now. So I wouldn't be surprised if they try to join the Colonial Athletic Association because it's one of the top FCS conferences. And so I think that's probably going to be their plan. But it bothers me when I hear things like this because it makes me feel like we don't value our conferences and our HBCU conferences and what we have. We feel like we have to go somewhere and get validation to feel appreciated or, or to feel like we're something. You know, and that's not the kind of attitude that we need to have. We should want to build our conferences up. Why wouldn't you want to join a HBCU conference and make it more stronger? And then, you know, then possibly you can bring the whole conference up to the LBS level. Yeah, some schools might not be able to go, but just think about it. You know, there's a, there are a lot of HBCU schools that have what it takes to become an LBS school. Yeah, so like I said, yeah, the invite was extended to TSU, but I just think their mentality right now, uh, the way the AD is pro is thinking, from what that article made me feel like, the way he's thinking, uh, they're not going to join the HBCU conference. And it's sad because, you know, there's something the alumni want. There's something that, the you know, all the other schools want. We want TSU. We've been calling for TSU to join the way for a long time because it would just be a great fit for TSU to be in the conference you know but I think you know their AD just has other plans and they're probably their leadership has other plans for the school you know they're probably thinking they're thinking outside of the way we're thinking <laughs> you know so you can't blame them for that they're doing what they think is best for their school so you can't really blame them but at the same time I just wish that we valued what we already have and want to make that stronger that's what we need we need some riders in leadership some people that's committed to the betterment of hbcus some people that's committed to bringing everybody up with them and not just thinking about i just want to make sure i'm good and that i'm in the best place to be we need people that think okay how can i make all of us come up how can i make all of us great and then the comment saying that you know they wish other hbcus join the lvc for what though your coach just came out and said it's a dying conference so why will other hbcus go to a dying conference what sense does that make is the ovc really a step up if it's a dying conference you know if it's a dying conference <laughs> a hbcu or a number of hbcus are not going to be able to help it because 
that's just like saying, okay, HBCUs have their built-in fan bases and they can add more money to the OVC and save it. Why would you do that? Just stay on your own conference and save yourself. What sense does it make to go to somebody else's conference and make the money for them? Doesn't make sense. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel. I'm really interested to see what people have to say about this. You know, am I tripping? <laughs> y'all let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing more videos. So y'all like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm gone.